Hey guys. So this week we have been talking about author's purpose. We have talked about the four different author's purpose um, that spell the word pie with an extra E. Remember P was to persuade. That's where you're trying to convince somebody to do something. You see this in political speeches, advertisements, and letters. To inform is where you're giving somebody information. You're teaching somebody something that you're reading. The reader is reading it to learn something. So you see this in nonfiction books, textbooks, encyclopedia, and news articles. These are things that you read to learn something. The E, the first E is to entertain. This is what you read for fun. This is the books that you read um, for enjoyment. So fiction books, chapter books, poetry, folk tales, these are all examples of reading for entertainment. And explain was how to. This is where you see directions like a how to book, a manual, cookbooks, and science experiments. This is showing you step by step how to do something. So we looked at a few different examples. We're going to look at a couple more today before we complete our activity. So we are going to look at the different types of author's purpose and we're going to choose an example that matches the purpose. So this one we're looking for something that persuades us. Remember that's trying to convince somebody of something. So would a nonfiction magazine convince somebody of something, an advertisement, or a comic book? Well, we know a nonfiction magazine would be teaching us something, so that would be to inform, and a comic book would be to entertain us, so an advertisement is trying to convince us to buy something, so it would be, advertisement would be to persuade us. Now let's find something that is meant to inform. A political speech for class president, a chapter book, or a book about the water cycle. A political speech for a class president, you're trying to convince somebody to vote for you, so that would be to persuade. A chapter book is usually meant to be read for to entertain. And a book about the water cycle is teaching you about the water cycle, so therefore it would be informing you. All right, a, something that's meant to entertain, a fairy tale, a television commercial, or an encyclopedia. So an encyclopedia, we learned, was a book that informs us, it teaches us something. A TV commercial is usually meant to advertise or to convince us to do or buy something. And a fairy tale is usually meant to be read for fun, so it would be used to entertain us. And explain a poem, a science experiment, or a chapter book. So a poem is usually meant to entertain us. And a chapter book is usually meant to entertain us. So a science experiment would be something that explains. It gives us step-by-step -step directions of how to do something. All right, so let's look at these author's purposes, these passages real quick. The Nile River is the longest river in the world. It's over 4,000 miles long. In ancient times, people settled along the river. The rich soil was good for growing crops. Irrigation, a system for bringing water to dry land, was used to water the crops. The river played an important role in farming. Okay, now let's Look at this one. This one is meant to inform. We know that because it's telling us true facts about the Nile River. It is nonfiction, so that tells us that it is informing us. Now let's look at this one. Dear Mom and Dad, I know you said that I wasn't old enough to have my own dog yet, but I believe that I am. This summer, I work jobs in the neighborhood to make my own money. Also, I'm in charge of taking care of the class pet. Lastly, I walked with Ben and his dog every afternoon. I am ready for my own dog, your son, Tom. 
All right, so let's think of the different kind of author's purpose. You have persuade, inform, entertain, and explain. Well, this is a letter, and if you think about the different types of things that fit under each category, you can remember that letter is usually under persuade. Well, this Tom is trying to convince his mom and dad to let him get a dog. So this one is to persuade. So he is trying to change someone's mind. All right, this one, once upon a time, there lived a young boy named Samuel and his father. The two worked all day, every day on their modest farm. They owned very little and life was not easy. One day, Samuel was tilling the soil when his when his hoe hit something hard. Little did he know his life was about to change forever. All right, so it starts out with once upon a time. So we know that this is probably a fiction story. It doesn't sound like a true or nonfiction story. So this one is probably meant to entertain us. It has characters and a setting. Lemonade popsicles. Ingredients. Lemonade mix, cold water, cups, sugar spoons, and popsicle sticks. Directions. Combine, mix, sugar, and water. Stir for one minute. Pour lemonade into cups. Then add a stick to each cup. Put in the freezer until frozen. And peel away cup before eating. All right, so this, we can look at the structure of this one and see it's given us step-by-step -step directions, which means this one is meant to explain. So, I want you to think about what you have been reading on your own. And think about, when you're reading it, what the author's purpose is. And think about how you know what the author's purpose is. So today, I want you to complete the author's purpose assignment. And you are going to submit this and just continue to think about author's purpose when you are reading on your own.